Bubo used to work at the PD as a coroner and pathologist. Then a couple of limbs and organs went missing, and the morphine stock suspiciously depleted, so the force said goodbye to him. He then set up a private practice, but lost his license pretty quick. Now he's doing something that vaguely resembles medicine. Fixing up gangsters and bent coppers. Or pigeons like us. I hadn't seen the doc since he had to pick a dozen pellets out of my drumstick. Thanks, Marty. Well, well. Look who the cat dragged in. The one and only chicken coppers in the rotting flesh. Good evening to you too, old owl. Aw, has he shot you again? Not yet. Ha ha, it is to laugh. I just need a strong painkiller. And since we're already here, some information too. Well, then I hope your pockets are full. We just crawled out of the river, so if it's all right with you, I can pay with a pocket full of mud. Well, I owe you one anyway. One? Don't make me laugh, Bubo. You're indebted to us for the rest of your life. Okay, okay, tell me what's wrong and do it fast. It's a busy night. On New Year's Eve, animals love to shoot or even eat each other. Ah, tell me about it. Tonight's starting to remind me of the bloody New Year's Eve. Or worse. Yeah. Blah, blah, blah. Did you come here to cry me a river? Spit it out. Then get your wobbly waddles out of here. Ursula will be home soon. Charming as ever, old bird. Spit it out. What do you want from me? I have a busy night. Busy? I had to patch up two muscle heads a few minutes ago. Of course, they ran off and didn't pay. What muscle heads? Wait, let me guess. A ram and a bobcat. How did you know? Shit. What was their problem? Why did they come here? Bobcat's hand was badly burned and something had sliced the ram. Well, it's not an easy job to haul two unconscious roosters onto an abandoned ship and then set it on fire. What have you gotten yourselves into again, you fools? Those two work for Ibn Wessler. Yeah, don't say. Well, in this case... It was nice to know you, gentlemen. Don't celebrate in advance, Doc. As you can see, we're not so easy to kill. Just tell us everything you know, and give us some strong painkillers. Well, all right. Ask away. But I must warn you. If Ursula comes home and sees you here, she'll either kick you out or maul you to death. Joking aside, how are you, Doc? Long time no see. Oh, you should get shot more often than you'd see me more. Yeah, right. I'm on it. I'm still alive. Clawville's still standing, to my surprise. Ursula still bears with me, to my even greater surprise. What else can I say? You don't need anything else then, right? You know, I could use a big house, a normal job, and a ton of money. And it'd be great if that ridiculous King Hector would finally resign from the throne. So you still support the Separatists? While 
this old owl's heart is beating. But your life partner is a bear. Mm, not a problem as long as I don't marry her. You're a goddamn hypocrite, Bubo. Why, thank you. What does this tell you, Bubo? That you tore off the corner of a painting? Not that. What do you make of it? That somewhere a painting is missing a corner. Don't cluck with me, old man. I'm not. I'm completely serious. Then, thanks for the help. <sighs> Don't mention it. Love is still in the air, I see. I'm a prisoner, boys. <laughs> yeah, the prisoner of your stupidity. Easy for you to say. You can't get rid of a woman like her so easily. Why? Because she's a bear and weighs a ton? No. Because no matter how much I hate her, I still love her more than anything. Oh, touching. Hold your tongue, McChicken. What do you know about Madame Zavos and her affairs? Zavos, huh? Who? That woman's probably even more dangerous than Ibn Wessler himself. Oh, great news. Is there some kind of link between them? Ibn's contacts span the entire city, and his new girlfriend, that Natasha, worked in the brothel once. How do you know that? Everybody knows. Oh, great. We almost died for that information. Why didn't you ask? Shut, shut up, okay? So that Ram and his partner, did they talk about something? About their plans? Where they're going next? The Bobcat didn't say a word, he just growled. But the Ram couldn't shut up, and he talks like a butler or something. He's got a very strange vocabulary, I must say. What did they say, Bubo? Get to the point. After they've done the job killing you, I guess, they said they have to kill a rat, too. A rat? Figuratively. An informer. Someone who spilled the beans and hurt Mr. Wessler's interests. An informer? They call them a sneaky little bastard, too, if that helps. That's gotta be Zip. Of course. Zip. Damn it. Well, then that flea bag's done for. Hold your horses, Marty. Zip is like a cockroach. Practically immortal. I guess. We gotta help him, then. I'm afraid you're right. We still owe him one. One? I didn't even hear that, Bubo. So... Who tried to get us out of the way, and why? Maybe Zavos is in cahoots with Ibn Wessler. Because Natasha used to work at that place? Ivan Wessler wants to hide the tracks leading to Natasha's past. Or maybe it was Natasha herself. But what does it have to do with Zip? Why do they want to kill the raccoon? Know something or has something that can unveil Natasha and Ibn's secret. We need to find out what it is. 
Sonny, there's something else. Your car is here behind the building. Ursula covered it with a tarp. What? Why? She saw it in front of the brothel. And she also saw the madam's girls trying to take it apart. Furry gods, what did she do to them? Well, a couple of dames with guns are not enough to scare my dear Ursula, that's for sure. But relax, she didn't tear them to pieces. She just chased them off and got away with your car. You know, for once, that's wonderful news. Yeah, I wore my legs down to get here. Warmest regards to Ursula when she gets back, Doc. She may have saved our lives. <sighs> of course I will. Now, cluck off, will you? Ah, you're the best, Boobo. I know. Will you kindly get lost? We're busted, boss. Yeah, the boys were quite fast, I admit. Ah, what are we gonna tell them? Any chance we were just joyriding around here? Not much. That's why they're gonna believe it. Do you think so? Just watch and learn, cub. We're late. I don't see him anywhere. But that jerk's here. Yeah, the famous scribbler Tim in the flesh. He must have seen something. And because he's here, he must have caught a whiff of a serious case. We should interrogate him. Oh, let me be the bad cop, boss bird. Permission granted. Yes. Timbo, my old pal. Hey, uh, hello, boys. W what a lovely welcome. You're not scared to see us, are you? Who, me? <laughs> what are you thinking? I I'm always glad to see you working, especially together like this is the legendary chicken police. What the hell's going on here, Tim? Uh, that's exactly what I was thinking, you see. What the hell could have happened here, right? Very strange, indeed. Where's Zip, Timbo? Keen observation, boys, because that's the most exciting thing about the story. Let me guess, a ram and a bobcat appeared and took him with them. Well, uh, you could say that if it happened, but it didn't. Then what? <laughs> Isn't it great? Here's the twist. Start talking, Tim, or we'll have to see if you can really fly. Come on, Sonny. I was supposed to be the bad cop. Shut your beak, Monty. Hey, hey, quit playing tough, will ya? You know I'll help you even if you don't threaten me. I always do. Mostly. Stop babbling. Just answer the question. Have you seen anything weird around the river? You mean the smoke and burning ship? Exactly. Oh, no, I haven't seen that. What do you know about Madame Zavos, Timothy? What's the old hag up to these days? I only know what everybody does. She's rich, she owns a brothel, allegedly she used to be a spy, and she's an enthusiastic supporter of the Crown and the Royalist Party. What else? Well, I haven't heard anything else, I swear. She's surrounded by secrets. She was a spy, you know. Although... Yes? 
A little bird told me she's been entertaining quite a lot of foreign guests recently. I mean, real high-quality VIP guests. Who? From where? Well, I don't know, but allegedly, she's welcomed patrons from Stavonia, Averia, and even Nautica. Basically from everywhere that matters. And well, that's all. You know I can get into everywhere, but even I give the Nile a white berth. Those wild girls are capable of anything protecting the madam. Trust me. Yeah, we've noticed. So, what about Zip? I'm telling you, I don't know. He was already gone by the time I got here. Why are you still sniffing around? Uh, I was uh, trying to make that fella talk over there. What, the old fly guy? You speak insect? What if I do? I'm educated, you know? Ah, right, Tim. My patience is gone. It's time you start singing like the songbird you are. Hey, that seabird. Okay, okay, back off. We're old friends, aren't we? Exactly. That's why I haven't smeared the walls with you yet. Ouch! Timbo's a douchebag, so it's not hard to draw the truth from him. So what the hell are you doing around here, Timbo? Uh, all right, I confess, but you'll be surprised. I was looking for you, boys. The whole town's talking about you. Really? I'm swelling with pride. Everybody's whispering about the chicken police being back together again. And that you've already turned the whole city upside down. Great news. What else do they say? That you've threatened Ibn Wessler's sweetheart Natasha, then trashed Madame Zavas's brothel. Hard stuff. Really? I'm not surprised. Oh, and the best! You set fire to a ship, too. Yeah, right. Ah, and one more thing. A poor girl was found dead at Natasha's place after you visited there. Is that so? And you believe all that? Well, I'm a journalist, Sonny. It doesn't matter what I believe. Yeah, right. And why were you looking for us here, of all places? You offend me, Sonny. I'm your biggest fan. I knew the hot dog's gonna be on your list. So it was a lucky guess. Uh, something like that. And I'm wasting time here often anyway, so I had nothing to lose. And here we are. Out with it, Tim. Who squawked? Well, any decent journalist has connections everywhere, Sonny. So have I. So? You don't think I'm gonna betray my source? Will you take me for a rat? Sorry, I mean, I didn't mean it like that. I, I have no problem with rats. What happened to Zip, Tim? Okay. When I arrived here, the hop dog was already closed. Zip wanted to shoo me away, but I managed to persuade him to talk to me a little. Uh, we're old friends, Sonny, you know? And, uh, I have this personal charm. Yeah, right, the, uh, charm. Get to the point, Timbo. Uh, okay, okay. So, he was totally crazy. I've never seen him like that before. He was flustered, flailing, and talking absolute gibberish. He must have said something, since you're such great friends. Well, he just said he'd go to the only place where there are even bigger scoundrels than those that are after him. Really? I can guess where he meant. I didn't have a clue. Anyway, after he closed the dog behind me, and then the cops came and took him away in handcuffs, I came to the conclusion that all of this makes no sense. Zip, you clever son of a bitch. Why? Oh, what is it? Oh, tell me. You just keep your beak out of this, Scribbler. I think I've got an idea about what our little friend's up to. Timbo loves to brag, and it's easy to approach him through his ego. Best if we ruthlessly exploit that. 
Heard any juicy gossip today, Tim, my friend? Natasha performed your new song tonight. It was a blast, I heard. And a uh, poor little Bambi died. Oh, and a ship was seen burning and sinking on the times, but you already know that. Not only know it, we even felt it. That all? But it could fill a full issue of the Clawville Chronicle. Isn't that enough? It's more than enough, Tim, old pal. As you're so well-informed, Timster, tell me about Madame Zavos. Well, they say she's kinda angry because someone trashed her brothel. Oh, and that someone was allegedly you and Marty. Yeah, you already told us. Good story. Anything else? With a little more truth in it. Allegedly, Ibn Wessler's men were seen around the brothel. I have a hunch that they were the same two guys that came here, too. Gee, that may even be true. Timbo, you pay attention to everything. Did anyone else come here? Besides the coppers? Yeah, a ram and a bobcat, in fact. But you just told us it wasn't them. Wasn't them what? I didn't say they took Zip, because that's not how it happened. Don't make me mad, Tim. We're really not in the mood for this. Hey, I I'm only telling you the truth. They stopped here in a fancy big car, uh, looked around, then left. Zip was no longer here. Neither were the coppers, okay? Tiny Tim is a true fan of ours, and it's time to finally use that to our advantage. Help your old pals, Tim. What was Zip doing before they took him away? Hey, you're trying to grease me up with all that sweet talk, Sonny Honey. Of course not, Tim Tim. We're old pals. I'm sure we are, but I don't remember you telling me that without an ulterior motive. But you know what? I don't care. Feels good anyway. I'm glad to hear that. So... Zip was acting crazy. He was running around, knocking over everything, and throwing things away. Then he suddenly disappeared into the kitchen. I guess that's when he made the call, because soon after that, the coppers arrived. And in between? Well, I didn't see him in between. Why didn't you go inside? He's your friend, isn't he? Well, I tried, Sonny. The door was closed. I, I knocked, even yelled. You know how a yelling seagull sounds like, <laughs> but nothing. I think I have a hunch what that was all about. Good for you, Sonny. Zip was hiding something in the dog, right? Uh, what do you mean exactly? Well, you tell me. You're good old friends, aren't you? Well, that's right, Sonny, but Zip's not the kind to easily share his secrets. But now that you put it that way... That's more like it, Tim. Tell me, what do you know? Oh, I don't know what it could be exactly. I mean, maybe it's not even relevant, but I'm sure Zip was trying to get rid of something when I arrived here. What and where? I don't know, okay? I, I already told you too much. If Zip hears about me telling you all this, he's never going to talk to me again. Tim, unless we find Zip, he's not going to talk to anyone ever again. Not in this life, at least. Look at this mess. Looks like he was in a real hurry, or was trying to erase his tracks. Because he was trying to hide something. But where? And most of all, what? Let's take a good look around.
Look at this. I'm looking, but what the hell could it be? No idea, Marty. Guess it's best if we ask the owner himself. Where do we find him? Well, Timbo told us he's with even worse bastards than the one chasing him. That's it? The Parliament? No, Marty, but close. Then... no way. Oh, yes, Marty. Zip is at the Clawville City Police Department. Could it be that simple? And that wild? Well, the cops took him. So it's obvious that he called the cops by himself to scare away Wesler's henchmen. Timbo was right. Doesn't he know half the police is in Wesler's pocket? He probably does, but this was his only chance. Uh, then he really is in big trouble. So? To the PD, then? Well, yeah, I haven't got a better idea. Believe me, I'd love to have one. Why did you keep that wristband? Have you found what you were looking for? No, Timbo, but we wouldn't tell you even if we did. Ah, but you have. You are an open book to me, Sonny. So, uh, thanks for the intel. Be careful what you're writing, Timmy boy. I'm a cop for only the next 121 days. After that, I can gut you if I want, and get away with it. And when did you being a cop stop you? He has a point. Just keep a low profile, okay, Timster? Okay, okay, I get it. My beak is sealed. Zoop. Look at what the wind of the sea dragged in. Our gull friend in the flesh. I can't believe it. Is this guy everywhere? The gull sees farthest to flies highest, Marty. Yeah, that guy's never given up. That's clucking sure. Hey there, Timster. Long time no see. Hey, boys. What a lovely surprise. Do you also have a deja vu, Sonny? It's like all of this had already happened, isn't it? Yeah, now that you mention it. I, I wasn't following you, boys. I swear. We never said you were, Timbo. But what exactly are you doing here? It's a little far away from Roachtown. Uh, uh, okay, okay, I confess. I was following you, but I simply had to know what this is all about and how it's going to end. It's my job, after all. But well, you have to understand, pals. We're not your pals, Tim. And I'm telling you for the last time, get the clock off our backs, or it's going to end up a lot different for you than you think. Ah, that's harsh. Even from you, Sonny. Did something happen? Did you get dragged into something personal? And on New Year's Eve again? Yeah, I mean, what's the chance of that? Bloody New Year's is back? Is there a connection between the two? What happens if it reappears again? Make him stop, Marty, or I'm gonna twist his beak off. Hey, uh, okay, okay, I get it. Yeah, my beak is sealed, and I'm gonna keep it low. Very good. You're not so stupid after all, Tim. You must have been just pretending. <laughs> uh, that, that's a good one, Sonny. <laughs> ho ho! Is that the chicken, please? Hello, Hercule. Good to see you here. <laughs> I'm always here, lads. The sun shines, the rain falls, and Hercule Mullen sells newspapers. Just like that, Madden. Now listen, uh, Hercule. Wait, 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 Sonny boy. Let me guess. Maybe, um, oh, you know. Ah, I got it. You need some information. <laughs> you guessed, Uncle. How did you do that? 
Years of practice, sonny boy. <laughs> now, tell me, lads, what's the matter? We're just sniffing around a bit, Uncle Mullen. You know us. You just can't sit still in your asses, can you? <laughs> it's all right. So, tell me, what would you like to know? Uncle Mullen helps where he can. Thanks, old pal. Listen, Hercule, what do you know about Madame Zavos? Why do I have the feeling you're not interested in her girls? Because you know us, Uncle. I hope you didn't mess with her. The old Cayman has a rather bad reputation, to put it mildly. <clears throat> Crocodile, but you're right. We shouldn't have messed with the old gal. She set fire to a ship with us in it. Ho 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 ho, boys! I've heard she loves drama, but that is a whole other level. Yeah, right. We barely got out alive. What else should I tell you about her, then? Maybe try not to anger her, if that's possible. <laughs> Thanks. Good advice. <laughs> I see everything's like it used to be. <laughs> yeah, if only my back was the same. <laughs> You're telling me. Eben's a ruthless gangster, that's for sure, but he's not bloodthirsty or stupid. You're not in danger until you're in his way, and that's not so easy to manage as the whole city's in his hands. How come they never tried to approach you, Uncle? What? <laughs> of course they've tried. They wanted to buy the whole area and build some huge parking garage on it. Mongrel Mick, Ibn's number one pug, came here and threatened me more than once. If I hadn't dug me heels in, the others would have sold up. The lawyers behind me, even Biff, the owner of Chandler's. But I told them, over my called dead carcass. Well, looks like it worked. <laughs> I'm too much for them, lads. Or I'm just too famous around here to get rid of. We could say Ibn's almost almighty, but he avoids scandal like rats avoid fire. <laughs> That's a good one. I'm a poor nobody, my lads, but my name still carries meaning. This place has always belonged to my family. If my dead body had been found here or in the times, it would have caused a scandal, even without any evidence. So, he usually listens to reason. Eh, when I talked to him tonight, he seemed confused, dissolute, and impetuous to me. That's uncharacteristic. Are you sure it was him? Are you joking? Ibn Wessler's not usually confused with anyone else. Of course I'm joking. Beaver humor, you know? <laughs> Nobody gets it. Not even the beavers. <laughs> Good one again. Fucking furry hell! So they know we're still alive? And I'd like to do something about it. Money for the gods' sake! Can you drive what you're not a fucking lunatic? Shut up and shoot, you big feather pillow!